What's happening people, this is Jammo2k with another player review, this time it's Nabi Kaita, 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 that'll do. Anyway, he's an 87 rated midfielder, plays in the Bundesliga, and he's a Guinean international. So I've been playing with him for a few weeks now, I'll take you through my thoughts, my first impressions and my lasting impressions. There'll be gameplay in the background, it's foot champs, qualifiers and seasons. Once again I was pretty lucky, I got him in a, not an untradeable actually, the tradable team of the week packs from last week maybe, I saved one, got him and I'd only just picked up Thiago actually so I wanted to make space for him in my squad. I've been looking for a replacement for N'Golo Kante for a while now, I was actually going to get the 85 but Kaita? Kaita. I'm going to call him Kaita. I'm going to call him Kata. That'll do. Yeah. Kata was just a godsend. And he probably ended up saving me roughly 300, 400,000 coins for the Kante anyway. So I decided to play him as the defensive midfielder. He essentially plays in the heart of my team. He takes up the main defensive responsibilities, but because of formations and things like that he's often the instigator of my attacks and he's the sort of guy that will pass to the guy who assists if that makes sense he's not necessarily the most natural defensive midfielder but he does have great defending stats good physical and effectively he's a bit like Ramirez in terms of the pace he'll nip in tackle and he got the ball way more often than you'd expect to be honest, he doesn't score much considering he plays so deep, and yeah, you can see his stats there, they're not the best, and I wasn't really sure what he did for me, but um, there was a recent qualifying tournament where you need an 82 rated team or below, and I swapped him out for Kante, and the difference just in terms of passing, shooting, everything, it really made me appreciate what he has to offer, and I'm a little more lenient when he makes mistakes now, you know, when I go for a slight tackle, when he completely misses it. In terms of negatives, I'd say his shooting stat is quite deceptive. I mean, I've gone for so many cracks with him, and I know you're seeing a few on screen, but most of the time they just flashed wide or bounced off the keeper. So I guess it was pretty lucky I decided to stick him in defensive mid. Although, I might have seen better results if I played him a bit further forward. I have tried him out as a central midfielder and he's perfect. Uh, it's the perfect blend of attack and defence and he's great going forward. He'll just take the ball in charge. Obviously there are some problems in terms of getting him into a hybrid. You're going to have to stick with Bundesliga players essentially. There aren't that many Guinean players in world football to be honest. But he's definitely better than a Goethe or a Kagawa. He's at roughly 180k on PS4 right now. And that is pretty expensive, but there's a reason why he costs so much. There aren't really many comparable players, and it's just nice to have that much pace in midfield. So I'd say if you're going to have a Kaita in your squad, Kaita, I'd go for the 87 version. He's unlikely to let you down, and he's a replacement for Angolo Kante in my team, I mean, that's got to mean something. Okay, I'm probably going to call it a day here, but let me know in the comments if you're going to grab the card, and make sure to like and sub if you've made it this far.